No, but you said you only do eight cons. All we're going to do this year we do eight cons and it'll be over with and that'll be it. Why don't you do another one? Oh, hey, everybody. Like I said in my intro, I am doing a nice con uh, coming up this weekend on November 12th at 10 o'clock a.m. Uh, it's going to be in Greensboro at the uh, Greensboro Marriott Airport. Um, so I'm going to give you all some details about it. Now, I found this con um, by luck because I'm always signing up for cons and, you know, Facebook algorithms, you know, those things that you that you're doing before you even think about it. So uh, this one happened to come up. This is uh, actually a local one. So I um, spoke with them. So I'll be there. I want to see y'all there. Um, this Sunday at 10 o'clock to 6 p.m., um, this will be the Eastgate Comic Con. Again, this Eastgate Comic Con. Um, this will be in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, this is why I'm kind of stopping my New York Comic Con views right now so I can give y'all uh, information about it. I do have like maybe three more videos I have to do for New York Comic Con. Um, yeah, about three more videos that have to be released for New York Comic Con and that be over. Um, but I'm going to show this in there real quick. Uh, so we're going to talk about it right now. So it is actually ran by Eastwood Comics, which is in High Point, North Carolina. Um, they, they have had this event for a few years. I just now hear about it. Um, their guest this year is going to be Boyd, Com um, Boyd Thomas. Uh, he is a writer and editor for Marvel and for DC. And I told with him, and I should happen, should happen to have an interview with him, hopefully. But he is the uh, creator. He created a lot of characters. He created Wolverine, Morbius, uh, Adam Smasher, um, Captain Marvel, uh, Red Guardian. There's multiple characters, back to back, Iron Fist. There's multiple characters. He just has put their part of creating. So um, I can't wait to see him and talk to him and see what he's um, doing. So also while I'm there, I want to see y'all. So as usual, I'm having my own um, questions there. So if you see me there, um, make sure you hit me up to um, do your questions like I usually do my interviews. Um, I should have something to give away, like a pen or something, a pen for a shirt, or just something for y'all for that event. And um, actually, Roy Thomas, before I forget it, his birthday is on the 22nd of this month. So hopefully, you know, He's here, like, for his birthday, I guess you can say, because his birthday is going to be 10 days from Sunday, which is the 12th. So we're going to get some more details about the con. All right, so if you buy your tickets in advance, as in before Sunday, it'd be $10 for it. If you buy it at the door, it'd be $15. Um, if you go to my page, you should have a link on there so you can go and buy the tickets through your website and do it that way. I would suggest getting it through the early thing. That way you can have more money to use towards the um, vendor hall, which I'm going to talk about more later. Um, guests include Roy, Patty, Ryan, uh, Danny, Jim, William, Marshall. All of them will be there. I'm going to show you pictures already of them. Um, so that's going to be very cool to see all the people there. They're also going to have uh, Lucha Libre West Wrestling there. I guess it's a big thing for them, and I love when I go to college, they have like the wrestling factor, so it gives an extra childhood excitement to it. Because, you know, I, I, as a child, I watch wrestling, and I watch comics, so, yeah. They also have a DJ there, uh, DJ Deliquent, I guess that's how he says his name, Deliquent. I'll show you his pictures right now. Oh, uh, let's see here. We're going to be at the Marriott Airport in Greensboro from... 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sunday. They also have like a little uh, layout of the map of how things will be going. I'll show you this as I'm doing it. So first one here is um, the main ballroom. And there's also the vendor booth in there there as well. And you see the wrestling ring is at the very top. So it's very cool. So there's going to be a lot of vendors as you can see. So that's what I said. Get, get the tickets early so where you can have money for the vendor hall. Because, you know, you need something to put up in the hall. Uh, let's see, next one up will be the uh, hallway, which will be Artist Alley. That's the L kind of shape there, so I'm not sure how you're going to have them laid out as a get for everybody, but that'd be awesome to see. 
And see also where you're going to have Roy Connor at. Uh, next one up will be the uh, Piedmont Room. That's another vendor booth area. Uh, that's a little bit smaller area from the of it and it's more focused on uh, like you know, 10 people are counting in there. So that way you can kind of don't have to worry about the big crowd. That If you can need a moment to rest, you can, to say, you can go to the, um, the Piedmont Room to Piedmont Room to see the smaller areas, just kind of get your breath right and do what you do. And the last area is going to be the High Point Greensboro Room. This is going to be also a vendor booth in the area, but also going to have the cosplay area in there as well. So I'm going to have to see how they're going to do the cosplay. I don't think they're going to do a contest. I haven't seen anything about posting for a contest for it. But if so, of course, I'll need a video for it and y'all can see it. Um, also, before I say, say something else, but I'm going to try to take the pop kids as well, too. Give them a camera and then let them, you know, let you see their point of view. Uh, I'm trying to get them more involved with cons because they are starting to enjoy it. They want to know more about what I do and how I do things. So I'm going to give them a camera. I'm going to let them go off and do their own thing. And I'm going to edit their videos, of course, and get to y'all. Um, trying to think of what else to talk about real quick. It's, um, like it's just a one-day con. As of right now, I haven't seen anything for uh, – there's no panels. Uh, yeah, they tell me there was no panels. Um, as for the cosplay contest, I'm not for sure about that. As of yet, I don't know if it's just a more or less a walk-through kind of cosplay thing. I'm going to see when I get there. Um, Roy Thomas is going to be there. Like I said, he is the featured guest. He was the um, editor-in-chief after Stan Lee for Marvel. Uh, Stan Lee was editor-in-chief, editor and then uh, he took over after him. Not for sure exactly what year it was he did. And how long he was there, but he had worked with Marvel, and he worked with DC, and right with Marvel back and forth, creating multiple characters between all the platforms, you could say. Um, so hopefully I get to talk to him and see what his insight is on things. Also, I'll try to get an interview with people who actually run the con. I have not done that yet for the events I go to. I want to, I want to interview people who run the con, so then that way you can to why they did the con and how they feel about the con and how you how you infected uh, infected them with how you being there. Like what they learn from the fans. Like I learned from y'all. What they learn from y'all as to what they need to do or change and stuff like that and how they have evolved over the years. So hopefully I get to talk to them and you can go over that. Um if there's not much to really go over, like I said it's just a one day event. Um ten dollars it is, oh, okay, see. Comic book vendor and cosplay competition. So there's going to be a comp competition there. So I'm going to try to get some video of that. Um, $10 in advance. $15 in the door. Again, my link is going to be on my pages. There should be a link to get tickets for it. If you actually follow my social medias, you will see that um, I will post where my next con will be at and also post within that. Um, how to get tickets to that event. So, you want to know where I'm going? Best place I can say is my Instagram or my official webpage. Um, but I'll find a way, actually, you can find those links in my description below um, to all those social media. But my official page for my channel, uh, webpage for my channel, it will get you up to date with what cons I'm going to and the direct link to get tickets to those cons with a countdown clock as well of um, how long it is to, to that con. Um, and also, you can give you a hint of who I'm going to next without telling y'all. Because, like, for example, this one here, I knew about for about a week or two that I was going to go to it, but I never, I'm going to be on now for y'all. But I posted on my social media that I was going to an event, so if you were following them, you was aware that I was following them, going there. Um, and I know on my Facebook, I announced one for next year already. So if you go to my Facebook page, I already announced that one for next year already. Um, I have signed up for a couple cons already for next year um, because most of the ones I signed up not until like later, like mid part of the year. I won't hear back until like closer to February or March if I'm going to or not. But I did get word back from one that's in the first weekend. First weekend. Um, the new year, I'll be going to a con, and um, 
I'm actually kind of happy about it because it's one of the bigger ones. It's not the biggest one in North Carolina, but a bigger one is ran by um, Galaxy, Con- Galaxy Con. So that's what I'm kind of happy about because I have tried to get in with them before with press, but I was not able before. But this time around, I'm able to do it. Um, but yeah, just follow our social media to find out what kind of going to next and um, how to get tickets to them. Also, make sure y'all coming out to East Dick Comic Con, which is on uh, this Sunday, November the 12th, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm going to be there. I want you to be there. And I want you to find me, too, as well, so we can do some talking and whatnot. Um, be on the lookout for the Pop Kids. Uh, just remember, I forgot to make them a shirt. Uh, I have the material for it, but I was going to let them go to the store and let them pick out what they wanted the color to be like or whatever they wanted for the shirt. But I have to do that at some point as well. Um, but yeah, just be on the lookout for me at the East Gate Comic Con. Um, get your tickets now, like I said, they're $10 at the moment now, but if you get to the door and buy a ticket, it'll be $15. Um, yeah, don't want to do that. But after this, uh, I took a break from the year Comic Con video so I can tell you about this and kind of promote this as well. Um, I've got three more videos for New York Comic Con on the post. After that, I will probably do a video for um, my collection of photographs, I may do two videos today because it's over over sixty, over sixty, over uh, Funko Pops I have signed and autographs, and um, I also have my autographs on my walls, as you can see. Um, so it's a lot of autographs I want to show y'all before the year ends. Um, I'm gonna tell you now that I had a lot going on this year, so I'm not able to get say some autographs to do a giveaway with y'all with. Um, but next year I will do my best to make sure I have enough items to do a giveaway with. Because um, I did, what, nine cons this year? And I'm going to split it to probably do 10, 11 cons next year. Oh, that's going to be a lot. Out of 52 weeks of the year, I'll be going to 11 cons and will be 40 weeks of not doing activities, which is the editing posting and whatnot. Um, but as I said in the intro, I usually try to stop in October doing cons. That way I just have a little break and can get myself right um, in the year with some money left over um, to spend for Christmas and holidays and whatnot. But you will see how it rolls this year. Um, yeah, I did apply for a few cons just in the later part of the year. So like I said, I'm not, not trying to spend money in the end of the year that should be going towards holidays time. Uh, I may do it next year if I plan to head for stuff, but no. But um, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm rambling now. But um, thanks for watching. Make sure you go to East Gate Comic Con. See y'all there Sunday at 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank y'all very much.